Hello, Mr. Rostedt. Thank you so much for being here with us at Campus for Finance 2016. We have some questions for you, mm -hmm. and um, why don't we start with the first one? Please. So, um, how do you perceive the current financing uh, environment for a company as large and international as Henkel? And um, how is your negotiating position towards financial institutions altered? So, we are a company with hardly any financial debt, so our access to capital, if you want one, want some, is very easy. So, uh, I think the question is more that you are very disciplined about how you actually um, acquire finance in the market and not be tempted by the low interest rate. So we can get pretty much as much as we want without jeopardizing, of course, the certain limitations without jeopardizing our rating. But I think you have to have a very high level of financial discipline because of the surplus of, of uh, cash in the market. Mm -hmm. And um, what is your opinion uh, on the effectiveness of economic sanctions against Russia, for example, um, against um, European washing powder? So before I go there, I, I think what uh, we should not underestimate is the negative impact the Russian recession has on the European economy. And it's being estimated that should this continue, one million jobs in Europe in Europe will get lost. There's no doubt that the Russia, Russia in itself is in recession. And I believe that the GDP growth for 2016 is predicted to be negative three to four. So of course, you can see the sanctions has a great impact on Russia. Reversely, it has a great impact on Europe. And I think it would be good if both parties could get to the table and find a resolution to the problem. Mm -hmm. And um, how do you think the markets are going to develop in 2016? Can you give us a more general outlook? If you speak about the European markets, I think that the European markets will continue to be tagging along what we see. There's been hardly any structural reforms in the last six to eight years. Quantitative easing has been going on for a while, and I've said, I think, two years ago, that unless you combine uh, quantitative easing with structural reforms, you're not going to get an uptick in the European economy. So I don't think you're going to see a big change because the, you know, the governments have not done a great thing of, of changing the underlying environment in TTIP. So the trade agreement with the US is only progressing very slow and they will not produce any kind of impulse to the European economy in 2016. Mm -hmm. I think you had some really interesting points. Thank you so much for your time and we hope you enjoyed the conference. Thank you.